What's up guys, Justin here from MPV with some really exciting news and uh, for those of you paintball fans as well as Call of Duty fans, you're going to really like this. Uh, anyway, I was checking my personal email the other day, actually it was yesterday I believe, and right in my inbox I get an email from CallofDuty.com and I didn't even know I was signed up for their newsletter. You know, I think I signed up for um, some Black Ops thing a couple months ago, back when I had the game, but um, not anymore. But um, I'm like, oh, it was in my spam folder actually, so I was like, eh, might as well check it out. And it was, the subject of the email was Call of Duty XP, the ultimate fan event, September 2nd and 3rd. Now, I don't know if you guys have known about this, but it's just something really, really cool that they um, are hosting. They go through some of the details and saving the best for last. Now, um, right in the email it says, what it is is a game convention promoting the release of Modern Warfare 3. I believe the seventh game in the Call of Duty series to be released in November, which uh, a lot of people are excited for. Me, not so much. I've kind of, you know, drifted away from the Call of Duty series, but, you know, I still might get it. Who knows? Uh, I haven't really been playing video games too much lately, but anyway, the Ultimate Fan Event, uh, it features nine football fields uh, of space, you know, of mind-blowing action, what it says. Um, nine football fields of, that's how large the convention is, all the tables, exhibits, you know, whatever. Um, another cool thing is they're going to have, you know, tons of Xbox 360s and TVs. Um, actually, no PlayStation 3s, which, yeah, whatever. Because uh, they're sponsored by Microsoft, I guess. But anyway, there's going to be a lot of stations, so if you go there, you will be among the first to play the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Uh, the online multiplayer, you'll be the first to test it out. Well, uh, among the first. Um, there is a a multiplayer tournament where there's going to be 32 teams, uh, four men on each team. The top prize is $1 million. $1 million for playing Call of Duty, which is ridiculous. Um, another thing is they're going to have, uh, for those of you who are maybe familiar with um, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, um, I believe it's all the games, but they're going to have a, like, a museum exhibit with every single real-life gun, every gun in the Call of Duty series, but the real-life version at, the ex at this uh, exhibit, um, for display. Now, I'm not sure if, like, you know, if you'll be able to, like, hold some with, like, no ammo or anything. Like, it's all stripped down to the frame. I don't even know, but that would be cool, I'm just saying. I don't know about the, the laws or, you know, things about that. But that'd be cool if they took, you know, all the real guns, they took out everything like dangerous that, that could cause it to go off or something and you got to hold just the frame you know you know whatever it's probably not gonna but there is gonna be like a museum thing uh, some other cool things is you know besides the one million dollar contest you'll be able to play the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer you know without trying to you know they're gonna have contests I don't, I don't know if there's a prize but you'll see who who makes it longer in like zombies on black ops um, by the way, the tournament uh, for the million dollars is Black Ops multiplayer. Um, they're gonna have you know who survives the longest of zombies, who do, you know be able to do the spec ops from Modern Warfare Three, and it's be awesome. So I'm gonna do is click more on the event. I'll also, um, I'm gonna provide a link um, to the website right here. Here's the link. Um, anyway, right to it. It says one epic event. When's uh, September 2nd to the 3rd in the Los Angeles area of California. Now, I live nowhere near Los Angeles, as probably many of you know, and I would kill to go to this event because although I'm not the biggest Call of Duty fan ever, I like playing it. It frustrates me a lot. <laughs> but um, what I'm about to get to is ridiculous. I was talking to Tony about it. It's just ridiculous. Um, I haven't told him what the crazy... Um, thing is, but I'm not going to, you know, release that until I get to it. Um, you'll be able to get the Modern Warfare, you'll, you'll be able to play, rather, the Modern Warfare 3 online multiplayer two months early. Um, I heard something online about you might be able to walk home with a copy of Modern Warfare 3 two months before it's released. Not sure about that. It doesn't say on the website. That's what I heard. This is just too crazy. If you are familiar with Modern Warfare 2, the Spec Ops mission, and the first mission of the game, the Pit, which is the first mission, I think it's um, SSDD, and I know what that stands for, I'm sure some of you do. Um, 
Uh, it's the first mission of Modern Warfare 2 when, when you're um, with Sergeant Foley, you know, training all the guys. Don't ask me how I remember his name, but I do. Um, and you run the pit, and you try and get the best time. Well, they're actually going to recreate the pit, and you're going to be able to run it and see what your time is. And, of course, it's paintball. Why else would I be making a video of it? Uh, why I'm so excited. You're going to be using paintball guns to run the pit. Now, if you're wondering why I'm so excited about this, that's not even half the reason why I'm excited. I mean, it's cool that you get to run the pit, but what this next thing is mind-blowing. Ready? For those of you who are familiar with Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, the Scrapyard um, map for the online, they're going to recreate that map in real life. In real life, a, a real full-scale model of that map, which I'm going to show you what it looks like for those of you who don't know or maybe don't remember. I'm going to go and do a quick uh, clip, sample clip of me playing it in just a second. But you're going to be able to play this map with paintball, paintball markers, I should say. You're going to be able to play on this scrapyard, the multiplayer map, a real-life model, you know, scale model, and play paintball on it. Like, how friggin' cool is that? <laughs> That's awesome. I think that that's like the coolest thing ever. I wish I really could attend, but um, if you are attending and you do live in the Los, uh, La ah, Los Angeles area, then I highly suggest you attend. It's $150 admission, and I think it's worth it. You know, If you don't have paintball gear, you're not supposed to bring it anyway. Uh, they're free rental equipment that they're going to provide no charge, but that's just awesome. That really is. Also, I mean, that's probably the best thing ever. Um, now I'm going to go to the Scrapyard gameplay. Alright guys, so here I am on the main screen for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot up the multiplayer. So um, here I am, and on the on this side. Uh, this is mostly a tour for those of you who don't know what this map looks like. Maybe you've never played Modern Warfare 2 before, maybe you just don't remember. Because um, it's kind of an old game now. But it's still a great one. Um, but anyway, you get it's a pretty much a scrapyard for all these broken planes. Um, trying to get a best look as possible for you guys. Um, got these buildings. And, um, you know, this is pretty cool. My guess is that they're going to leave out, you know, random ground details. Like, you know, these crates or whatever. Maybe they'll leave out this wiring and these, like, propeller things. But the majority of it, I'm sure they're they're gonna keep true. Like these buildings, um, well these buildings, these army things, which I cannot remember the name of for some reason. They have a certain name, I just can't think of it right now. Um, they might even be airplane bodies. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like one because of the size, but this is an airplane body because the way it, you know it has a wing and um, and everything. So. I'm really interested, you got a main building right here, which is, if they recreate this with like, you know, the ladder to the catwalk, and the stairs and all and whatnot, I think it'd be too cool, you know, you gotta, imagine you're up here, reliving all your Call of Duty fantasies with a paintball marker, that's just, I can't even fathom something like that, it's just ridiculous, um, how cool that is, that they're providing an option like this. Uh, this is a once in a lifetime thing, which I would love to go to. Unfortunately, 99% well, 99.9% .9 chance I cannot attend. But um, yeah, for those of you who are like, "Oh, this is awesome," like like I'm saying right now, you oh, I wish I could attend. Well, if you don't live near Los Angeles, like I live on the other side of the country, so that doesn't really do me injustice. I would love to go to this thing, but um, I can't. I do believe they're doing a live streaming webcam, a live feed on a, on one of their websites. I mean, probably mul uh, multiple webcams to see. I'm sure people are going to bring, you know, helmet cams, goggle cams, th for those paintball enthusiasts. Uh, I have a feeling that the majority of the people that are going to this Call of Duty convention are not going for the paintball, but rather just for the Call of Duty aspect. And, um... Probably you're going to get a lot of um, players that have just played for the first time. This is their first time paintballing. They'll probably, you know, stick back like uh, people that are first-timers do. Um, maybe they're afraid to get hit 
or whatever. And then you'll probably get get a, a decent amount of, you know, avid paintballers um, or advanced paintballers that play Call of Duty on their spare time. So it's probably going to be an interesting blend, to say the least. Um, this is pretty much sum up the tour. I mean, I can give you a tour of this building right here, too. I just wanted to give you uh, um, a, a showcase, I guess you could say, of what the map looks like. You know, let's try and go on our YouTube channel here. Why? Oh, oh, oh man. It's probably because the computer's not on. Who uses floppy disk anymore? Wow. But anyway, um, <laughs> oh, a can of Coke. Yeah. You gotta admire the realisticness that, um, shooting a can of coke with a 50 caliber bullet doesn't make it move at all. Very, very realistic, um, Infinity Ward. <laughs> anyway, that should pretty much do it. I just want to give you guys a little look at the map, um, it, to see how exactly this thing is going to look. And I have a feeling it's going to look really cool. So, uh, thanks for watching, and... Yeah. Back to my original clip. So there you have it, guys. That was a quick look at the multiplayer Modern Warfare 2 map, Scrapyard. So um, that is the map they're going to recreate at the Call of Duty convention. And, um, you're going to be able to play paintball on it. I can't even imagine how cool that's going to be. Um, so, if any of you are in the Los Angeles area and got 150 bucks a blow, then I suggest you go there. And, um, if you can, you know, bring along a camera. And hopefully, people are going to post footage, because I'm really interested in seeing it. Like I said, they're probably going to have a live cam up, but, um... You know, some helmet cam footage of playing on Scrapyard would be pretty awesome. That link again is right here. So uh, make sure if you want to check out and get more details on that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see, you know, the live feed or whatever. This is just sounds pretty awesome. A once in a lifetime thing. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's really exciting. Um, that paintball is getting more and more out there. 